วัสดีค่ะ Today I am going to do กุ้งผัดมุนเส้น or stir fry prawns with vermicelli noodles. กุ้ง is prawn in English language. กุ้งผัดมุนเส้น is very popular in Thailand. It is a mild dish but quite tasty and absolutely easy to prepare. Shall we try it? Now we're going through the ingredients for kung pad wun sen. Okay, we start with um, uh, soy sauce. This is the brand that I use. You can buy from Asian grocery food shop. Um, one and a half teaspoon of the soy sauce. Okay, and the next one, dark soy sauce. We use it for two teaspoons, and a teaspoon of sugar could be brown or white. Doesn't matter. The next one, uh, one stem, uh, one small um, spring onion, or if you don't have that, you can use chive instead. You said uh, maybe two or three chives, okay? And prawns, my favorite one. Normally we use about six, but I'm cheating on it because I love prawns, so I have eight in here. But six will do, okay? And a quarter of tomatoes, the ripe one, and chop into small pieces, look like this, okay? And the important part is vermicelli noodles. I think the size of 100 grams. Okay, so you can buy from your local supermarket also. And cooking oil. Okay, and a jug of water. Okay, now time to cook. I already put the pan into the into my stove, and I already put a little bit of oil and water in there just to prevent uh, the spills out of the pan. Okay start to cook so I just add a little bit more of the uh, water this trick will help you um, you know uh, instead of the oil going everywhere so the water will help you with that okay while I'm waiting for the oil it's ready so I'm gonna show you uh, there's something in the vermicelli noodle I'll just use the plate for this I'll show you what, what it is. You will see there is a um, thread in there that tie the um, the vermicelli noodles together. You have to cut it off first, okay? Because they can't be eaten. Easy. Yeah, and just oops, spilled everywhere. And we just I'll put it aside for a moment, okay? And now I'll concentrate on the on the pan to just start to get some uh, cook here. We start with put the dark soy sauce in. Okay. One done. And then soy sauce. And the next one is sugar. You see, no spill at all. And um, even though it's only little, so for that you keep your kitchen clean. Okay. And I'm gonna add some more water because um, vermicelli noodle we soak it up quite a bit. Okay. And I'm just wait it to boil up again. Okay, the ingredient is quite uh, boiling up again, so I just add my vermicelli in there and let it soak it. Just keep um, stir it. It starts to smell really good. Once it's dried like this, that's why we use a, a big jack of water. Just keep pouring it in there, okay? Because it's gonna soak uh, vermicelli soaks up quite a bit. Mmm, smell really nice. And then let it um, cook a little bit, a little bit more until the vermicelli um, kind of a, almost cooked. And then we gotta add other ingredient in. Okay, it's cooking really well in front of me here. Um, the vermicelli noodles uh, reasonably cooked. So I'm gonna add the prawns and uh, tomatoes and my chives. And 
keep stirring it until the rest of the ingredient cooked and then we can remove the gung pat bun sen into the nice container. And here is gung pat bun sen. It looks delicious. You try one yourself and I'm going to eat mine now.